Y'all, life is not making that much sense right now in terms of the cost of every thing. Tell me why I just had to spend $400 to register my car. Yes, $400 for a piece of paper. I haven't bought any Christmas gifts. Zero, none, not one. And the way that it's looking, y'all not getting nothing. Y'all ain't getting nothing from me because groceries are too high. Car insurance too high. Car bills, everything is high. They're going to increase rent. As soon as the lease renews, they're going to increase the rent. So what is this? It's almost like my brain can't really compute this because I'm just imagining like if I was a mom and I had kids and I just had to come pay this shit, bro, kids need Christmas presents. Now I done spent $400 at the mother DMV and I can't buy my kids no fucking Christmas gifts. Our lights about to get cut off because I had to buy this piece of paper. What the fuck? I'm sorry for using all the F-bombs, but... I heard mouth is crazy, all right? But first of all, kids don't need Christmas gifts, all right? They don't need that stuff, okay? So, and that's the thing. We got to get out We got to get out of this consumer consumer uh, mentality where we got to buy everything because, oh, this day is coming up. Oh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Christmas Day, we got to buy. So, we got to buy all these things, right? All this is doing is just uh, is, is, is creating bad spending habits, all right? People say we need to do this. We need to buy this. No, what you need to do is make sure your lights and your house stay on, right? That's the that's what we need to make sure. You need to make sure the lights are staying on. That's what the kids want most of all. They want make sure they want make sure some food in their belly, some clothes on their back, and a roof over their head. All right. So you don't need Christmas gifts. Okay. You want to make sure that you you're, you're taking care of your necessities. All right. All this other stuff you don't need to be buying the Christmas gift if if the, if you're gonna do the Christmas thing. Of course, of course, Christmas is very important for the kids. Right. We want to make sure they have a good experience, and this is something a lot of children you want um, kids growing up to experience. But if your finances are in order, then you need to make sure that's priority number one. Okay. So. Um, obviously, if you're going to do the Christmas gifts, you want to make sure to create a budget. Create a budget for Christmas so then for whatever's in that account, boom, that's what you're spending, right? And make sure everybody's not going to get a Christmas gift. Your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, all that, you're not going to get a, a Christmas gift. Make sure the kids get their get their gifts and, and make sure they're happy, right? So, um, and, and like she's, she's talking about with her, her uh, registration, yeah, car reg no, everything is going up. Car registration, man, that's $400. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I paid for my registration. I can't remember. I don't think it definitely was no $400. Um, I got to check, but yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot. And that's the thing. You got to... Um, it, you gotta make sure uh, you know things. Everything costs um is is, is more expensive. Right? Everything is is more expensive, just like she alluded to. Um, and the good thing is at least I see a ring on her finger, so at least she's not doing this by herself, right? She's not out here alone, like uh, like I always talk about, like you know this this world is not meant for single people, especially uh, single females, right? But she looks like she has a ring on her finger, so she she hopefully she has a, she has a husband, and hopefully you know they're making things work. But like yo, we in times right now where things are just very expensive, right? Like I said, it's hard for uh, uh, couples. Uh, to get by so you could just imagine um, being single out here trying to survive um, trying to do things on your own you know paying for for mortgages and and car insurance and car uh, the, the cost of uh, owning a car so everything is more expensive and and this is why it's important like obviously the the first main the, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your finances together right obviously you want to reduce debt right that's the thing you want to make sure whatever money that you're having is not going off it's not going over to some some bank some corporation uh because of interest payments right you want to make sure you reduce the debt um and and make sure that you're you're taking care of your necessities right and then if that's not enough for me, like I always said, you, know, it, you, you have to find a way to increase your income, right? Because obviously, you know, the nine to five job is just, it's not enough. It's not enough, especially at the rate of where things are um, increasing o over the years. Um, you waiting for a 3% increase on your job is it's not keeping up with the inflation that's going on in, in, in this world, right? So, I mean, and like I said, if you have a nine to five job, I mean, you, you have to do what you got to do. You got to make sure that you, you pay your bills and, and make sure you take care of your needs. But like if you're someone that's, that it's hard to keep up, then you got to find other ways because things are not the price of things are not coming down. Right. It's only getting more expensive. Right. So you have to come up with a solution. Doing rants on TikTok is not going to help you. It's not going to help you keep the lights on. It's not going to help you pay your bills. Right. You have to find a way to come up with a solution. And and I and I realized this for myself is just like I knew that, you know, working working a nine to five job is just like you're you can only make so much at a job unless you have a high, um, high, you know, uh, paid profession. Right. But most people obviously don't have that. So you got to find other ways to create income.
right? Starting that side hustle, getting another job, or you know, starting a business where you can then multiply your income, where your income is not capped, right? You have control over your finances, which is something I always advocate for. Make sure you're taking control over your finances, right? Don't allow someone else to have control over your finances. Like, and you see so many people being laid off, right? Um, um, you know, especially th during these times, like especially big tech companies, they're just laying people off left and right. So that's that's a scary feeling to have that you have no control over your finance. And you see how people are out here like, you know, they can't they can't find jobs, um, even the jobs that they have. They're not sure if, you know, if, they, if they're going to be able to if they're going to not be let go or not. So I'm all about having control over my finances. And that's just something that I like. And and. And I know more people would like to do that as well, but you know, they trying to figure out how to do that is is the question. And, and you got it, you got it, you got it. Look at this books out there. You got to learn. You got to educate. Like you got YouTube. Watch YouTube channels. That you have to find ways to create more income. That should be your goal. Like if you don't, if, if obviously if you're doing good with your your expenses, you're managing your expenses, you're living within your means, um, which a lot of people aren't. But if you're someone that is living within your means and your expenses are low and you're not going crazy with your with your and you don't have crazy debt and you're still finding yourself struggling living paycheck to paycheck, then you have an income problem and you need to find a way to increase that income. Um, and and that that's the the best solution. Like I said, crying coming out here. Swearing up, swearing up a storm is not going to solve your problem. You have to be um, proactive and say, okay, what do I need to do, right? How can I, how can I increase my income, right? Got to get that mind going and say, all right, how can I find ways to increase my income so I can better my financial situation? Because it gets tough if you're going, if you're getting to this point where, all right, your, your finances are, you know, you're not making enough money. Then what, what, what? You get to a point where you get desperate, and then you say, all right, you know what? You start using the credit card. You start taking out loans, right? You start making bad financial decisions, and this is going to put you further into a hole. So you want to make sure you avoid that, right? Because that it'll, it'll get there. People are like, all right, I don't have enough money. What I'm going to use? That credit card, and then you have it in your mind, like, oh, I'll pay that off, you know, you know, at this certain time. And what happens? An emergency pops up, right? You lay, you get laid off. You don't make as much money as you you used to, and then that credit card debt piles up. I know that from experience, right? So you have to like be proactive and start start thinking of the worst case scenario and say, all right, okay, what do I what can I do in order to um, make sure I'm putting myself in a better financial position? So. Hopefully she, she, you know, she figured out, you know, I, she has a husband, so I mean, hopefully they can, you know, figure that out, and then hopefully they don't get their lights cut off. And then she says she doesn't have kids, so that's, uh, I mean, um, you know, at least that helps out for for now until she decides to have children. But you gotta start, you gotta start, you gotta start being proactive when it comes to your finances. I'm not sure what her debt is, um, uh, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta come to a, uh, uh, you gotta develop a plan, come up with a plan to be like, all right, we got, we gotta find a way to make more money. Because this, the way things are going, the way things in the economy are going, everything is getting more expensive. Things are not coming down. Maybe the inflation rate is coming down, but things are more expensive today than they were a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. So you got to figure that out, all right? So that's all I got for you guys today. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave it down below. Hit the like button, share. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. All right, so you guys take care and have a good one. Later.